Unlocking grammar. Unveiling backshifting. Simple present to simple past. Hello, language learners. Welcome to another exciting English lesson. Today, we are going to dive deep into an interesting topic in English grammar. Backshifting of simple tenses, specifically focusing on backshifting of simple present to simple past. We hope you're ready to unravel the magic of reported speech with us. Before we delve into the heart of the matter, it's important to know what backshifting actually is. Backshifting is a rule used in English when we report something someone else said, thought, or believed. We often shift the tenses back, which is where the term backshifting comes from. Now, let's dive into our main focus for today. When we're reporting speech and the reporting verb is in the past tense, the verb tenses in the reported clause, the part that contains what was said, usually shift one step back into the past. This is particularly true when the reported information is no longer true or relevant. So, when the original speech is in the simple present tense, it gets shifted or backshifted to the simple past tense in reported speech. Here's an example. Direct speech. I love this movie, said John. Reported speech. John said that he loved that movie. The simple present verb, love, changes to the simple past verb, loved, in the reported speech. Understanding the concept is great, but practice makes perfect. Let's look at a few more examples. Direct speech. I play football on Sundays, he said. Reported speech. He said he played football on Sundays. Direct speech. She works in a bank, Alice told me. Reported speech. Alice told me she worked in a bank. Remember, it's all about shifting the verb tenses one step back into the past when we're reporting what someone else has said. That brings us to the end of this lesson on backshifting from simple present to simple past in English. We hope that you now understand this concept better and will confidently apply it in your daily English communication. Always remember, practice is key. So, keep practicing these examples and soon you'll master the art of backshifting. Happy learning!